everybody, it's Carla Marie from Unschooling the Sensational Six, and I have Quiet Storm here, who's 11, and Boss, who is 9, and we're going to talk to you today about our favorite reads. I know that I have a lot of people ask questions. How do I get my kids to read? How do I get them to enjoy reading? Well, there are some, uh, we do a lot of reading around here. My kids are very very passionate readers, but there are certain series that we really enjoy and I wanted to share those with you because during the holiday season or for birthdays or just in general, parents are always looking for new ways and exciting uh, books that will spark interest of their children. So we get lots and lots of books from the library every month. We also focus on building our own home library. So I'm going to share with you some of the things that are the most exciting that we enjoy in our home library, right? So Quiet Storm and Boss really, really, really enjoy this particular series that I'm going to share with you first. And that is the Max Axiom series. This series is, this series is so exciting and it is focused on science. Max Axiom is a, um, a scientist and he helps the kids explore different areas of science. So you have all kinds of science, modern science, um, uh, physics, chemistry, human body, um, genetics, biology, you name it. It's involved in this particular series. And in this series, this particular one is on bacteria. You will see that the inside of these books are so exciting, aren't they? They're so bright and colorful. And even though they are short and sweet, they're very comprehensive. So you will know that by the end of reading this book, whether you're reading it with your kid, and that's what we do a lot, right? We do, we read together, tag team read. Yeah. Sometimes I'll read it to them. Sometimes I'll have them read it to me or we read together. But by the end of one of these books, they have a really wide uh, range of knowledge on that topic. So even though it's in comic book form, which makes it really enjoyable, and he kind of shrinks himself down, the scientist, into um, different uh, adventures that show you how different scientific concepts exist, okay, and how they work. So this is bacteria. We have genes and cell life, uh, viruses. One of my favorites, food chains. We like to learn about why, people, why each animal eats other animals, right? And then um, we also have uh, recycling and one of our favorites because uh, they're not the only two of our kids that enjoy these, but just thought I would use them for the video. We have volcanoes, ecosystems, earthquakes. We have a resident uh, natural disaster expert in our house. And so he really likes those particular ones, hurricanes. Um, you have chemical reactions and states of matter. And then you get to, uh, to some uh, physics, forces of motion, sound, space travel, light. I mean, it goes on and on. And I won't go over all of them, but I wanted to give you an idea of where to get them. You can get them on Amazon. And I, was, I had to order them all separately um, because sometimes they are from different sellers. Um, you may be able to find them on one particular site, but I got them from Amazon. They were anywhere between, I'd say, $5 and $12, depending upon the actual comic book. Um, and I ordered all of mine separately. You might be able to find them in one spot if you're lucky. Um, but I sought them out based on the topics that I thought were the most interesting to my children, that I thought that they would enjoy the most, right? So why do you like reading these? Because it teaches a lot. It teaches a lot. What, what is one of the ones that were your favorites? It would have to be jeans. Jeans. That was your favorite one. How about you? What do you like about them? I like the. I like more of the food chain. The food chain one. What do you like about that one? Uh, it tells you. It tells you um different. It tells you um how the animals, what the animals eat. And other, and also other stuff. Okay, that's cool. So, they these are their particular favorites. I really like them all. Obviously, as mom, I'm always looking for ways for my kids to learn in fun ways. And what better way to learn than through a comic book, right? So, 
Max Axiom is cool. And it also helps that he is an African-American scientist. And I like for my children to see themselves in the books that we read. So that's always a plus too. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And we'll be back with more. We are back and I have with me Thunderbolt and he is our resident historian, right? Yep. Love history. He loves history. And so we're going to talk about some of the things that we love reading around here that, um, that your kids might like as well. We're going to start with the I Survive series. These series are really exciting. They are in written in chapter book form, short and sweet. We like to read tag team read these. Yeah. Sometimes he'll read them on his own, but he's he's a tag team reader. He likes to read together, yes. cuddle up and read, right? And so um, they're good for that, but they are based on historic events. And you do have some that are based on um, scientific uh, discoveries or ideas and things of that nature. So this is I Survived the Attacks of September 11th. This is I Survived the Sinking of the Titanic. So it kind of gives you um, an example of a child living during that time, right? So yeah. it kind of helps them relate to what life was like for kids during that time period. Another series that we really enjoy are the Where Was, Where Is, and What Was series. And that is by Grosset and Dunlap. And these can be, you can get most of these books that I'm talking about today um, at your local bookstores or on Amazon. Um, and so the Who Was series, you probably heard of this. We love this. We love how diverse this series is, how many cultures and how many uh, races are represented in this particular series. And uh, we have Albert Einstein. We have Walt Disney. We have so many um, that just kind of give our kids a short snippet. We don't need those quite yet. They give us a short snippet of different uh, people, their lives, the great, great things that they brought to society, um, their inventions, their art, their uh, skills. And so very short and sweet. This is also a good read aloud. It is a good tag team read as well as um, for your kids. Now, most of the books that I'm sharing today are good for kids between the ages of, I'd say, seven when you a new chapter book reader, all the way to 13, 14. But even for a teenager or an adult who wants to do a review on a particular person, place, or thing, they're a really qu good quick read. So I wouldn't necessarily say it has to be a younger child that's reading it. So that was the who was. Then the Grosset and Dunlap also has what was. So it kind of gives you an idea of what different kinds of um, events, special events, like what was the Boston Tea Party? What was Pearl Harbor? <laughs> and this is one of his favorite, he's the World War II buff. And then we have where was. And where was basically gives you an idea of certain landmarks in the world. You have where what, where is the Great Wall? And where is the Grand Canyon? And so we have lots and lots of those. We have a whole crate full of who was, what was, and where is to kind of give you an idea. And my kids like those. They've always been a valuable add to our home library. So let's get started on our You Choose. I want to share three different categories of our You Choose books. We love You Choose. I think I love them as much as my kids love them. It is a fun way to put yourself in the story. What do you think about these books? I love them. They're what are you... my favorite. Okay. Because you can you choose the outcome, and it's a matter of life death. Choose the wrong one. Yeah, that's you die. true. Choose the right one you live. That's true. And one of the things that I love the most about it is that no matter how many times you read it, you're going to end up coming coming up with a different outcome if you make different choices, right? Just like life. So it's kind of exciting. They get to put themselves in the book. So we have um, kind of modern science, uh, Mars exploration and rovers, um, International Space Station, the race to the moon. Then we have um, one of your favorites. Survival. Survival. He loves survival books. So You Choose has a series of survival books as well. Now, the ones that I'm showing you here today are not all that, that exist. I'm just showing you a snippet of some of our favorites, but there are scores of books in these particular series. So this one is a survival. Combo pack. Yeah, this is a combo book of for surviving Titanic, the jungle, and earthquakes. 
Yes. So <laughs> the, this particular one is pretty fun. And again, really fun for a read aloud or tag team read. Favorite, storm chasing, storm chasing, storm chasing. Yes. I am the natural disaster guy that she mentioned earlier. <laughs> So, he really, 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 really loves the storm chasing and any kind of natural disasters. Then we have the desert, surviving the desert, surviving Antarctica, which is really fun, surviving the wilderness, and lost at sea. Now, these particular ones are my favorite, um, and it's not, you get some history from it, a little geography, but a lot of science with the survival yes. ones because you learn about the, the, the climate and you learn about the... Um, just the weather and all kinds of scientific facts that would help you survive in different terrain, different uh, atmospheres. And then you have his other favorite. History. History. He's a history guy. He's Titanic. Stealing Nazi secrets from World War II. That's part of a series of Spies of the American Revolution, Spies of the Civil War, Spies of World War One. We have Stealing Nazi Secret. World War Two, we have and spies of the Civil War. We have attack, Pearl Harbor. Attack on Pearl Harbor. Definitely one of my favorites. Special Forces. Yeah. No, one of my favorites. A lot of our kids have had. We've had a lot of um, questions and reading about this lately, which is the Salem Witch Trials, and we have had this in several different forms, different books that explain what took place during that that period of time, and that's pretty gruesome stuff, wasn't it? Um, have the California. Rush and the final the dust bowl. So those are just examples of some of the I survive history geography type things. So um I, you can't go wrong with you choose books. I'm telling you, you're gonna get a lot of science, history, geography, social issues, um, social justice. You know, we have books in this particular series on um Civil rights movement. On the civil rights movement, things of that nature. So really good stuff to have in your home library. The ones that we do not have, we always check the library to see if they have ones that we don't have. Um, and once in a while, we come across some really good ones that we don't have here in our home library. One last series that he really loves, and I'll give you a disclaimer for this. Hazardous Tales. When you're reading these, I'd say the age range is about nine and up. Because this can get really gruesome, violent. Well, not extremely violent. Let me let me explain what he means by that. Some of these we have like the Donner dinner party. Yeah, we had Alamo that we had. Saturday. We had Alamo. We had okay, and then we have Treaties, Trenches, Mud and Blood. <laughs> so again, it's called Hazardous Tales. It's supposed to be a humorous way and kind of a com comic book way of looking at some of the. Um, major events in history and uh so when you're reading this with your kids you want to just make sure that um you look over it first be that they understand that uh, maybe some of the things that are shared in it um actually took place in history so yeah i would say slightly older for this but my kids seem to enjoy them so that is it um we have a host of things that I know that you're going to enjoy. And if you have any questions or if you're looking for suggestions, we have a home library that's pretty big um, as far as what we have to offer our kids daily. So if you want more ideas, your kids have a specific interest, I might be able to help um, or you know lead you in the right direction. Give me, um, you know, write it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks. For, uh, for sharing your thoughts on these particular books. I hope that was helpful. Have a great holiday. Bye. Merry Christmas.